Hello friends, welcome to RisingPal.com. Today we are talking about series 3 where we are learning trigonometry. This is our episode number 9 and friends today's topic is understanding the trigonometric ratios of 60 degree angle. In webisode 8, the last webisode we looked at trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees. So I hope friends you are following us along at RisingPal.com. Let's find our trigonometric, tr trigonometric ratios for 60 degree angle. Now let's first draw, we will do a simple construction. We are drawing an equilateral triangle. Why? Just uh, bear with me for a moment. Equilateral triangle has all angles 60 degrees. Right? So I have drawn an equilateral triangle here. Angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C, all angles 60 degrees. Why? Because we want to find our trigonometric ratios for 60 degrees. Then we will do a simple construction. We will find out the midpoint of AC. And from there we will draw, we will join D and B, the vertex on the other side. So why, we, why did we do it? So here friends, what you have is by construction, this side is equal to this side. Because remember D is the midpoint for AC. If you look at this triangle and if you look at this triangle what we have friends is let's write it down here if you look at triangle a d b and if you look at triangle c d b these two triangles what do we see we see that angle a is equal to angle c because both are 60 degrees. AD is equal to CD. This is by construction. BD is common to both the triangles. And AB is equal to BC. Why? Because equilateral triangle has all sides same. So using just the three, these three conditions, we can say these two triangles, that is triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle C, D, B. Why? By S, S, S congruence rule. AD equals DC, AB equals BC, and this side is common to both the triangles. Now friends, if these two triangles are indeed congruent, it means that this angle is equal to this angle, and these two angles are equal. So if these two angles are equal, that means each angle should be 90 degree, 90 degree, right? So now let's understand what we have. Let's just give ourselves a little bit more space. So we have a 60 degree angle here. We have a 90 degree angle here. So if we are to focus now only on triangle ABD. So now we are not going to be considering this triangle. We are focusing on triangle A. Let's just call ABD. ABD. ABD is a right triangle because angle D is 90 degrees. Right? We just saw that because this angle and this angle are equal. If you add them, it should be 180 degrees. So each angle is 90 degrees. So ABD is a right triangle. This is a right triangle. Right triangle with angle D 90 degrees and this is 60 degrees. Right? So if I can find out the trigonometric ratios in triangle ABD, then I can use the 60 degree and find the rest of the ratios. Right? Now friends, also imagine that if we were to say each side of a right triangle is of the measure A unit, we know that, let's do it here, so we know that AB is equal to BC is equal to AC, right? Each of the sides of a right triangle 
are equal and let us say they are all equal to a where a is any positive real number so if so this side ab is a bc is a but we are focusing on this triangle so what is ad remember ad d is the midpoint so ad is a by 2 so in this triangle abd we need to find the length bd because we know ab is hypotenuse that is a a ab is a ad is a by 2 we are we have to find out bd so applying pythagoras theorem we can say that bd square that bd square should be equal to ab square minus ad square right so this equals to ab is a so it will be a square minus ad is a by 2 a by 2 square so here if you were to expand this so you will get a square this one minus if you open the parenthesis you will get a square by 2 square is 4 so here if you take 4 as LCM you will have 4 a square minus a square or essentially you will have 3 a square by 4 so BD square BD square is equal to this so taking square root on both sides what we get is we get BD is equal to square root 3 by 2 times A because so if you take square root for on both sides bd square is this so this will be square root of 3 square root of 4 square root of 4 will be equal to 2 so denominator we got we get the 2 and we will have a here so this length friends bd is now square root 3 by 2 times a so if you look at the triangle ABD, which is the triangle that we are focusing on, in this triangle, friends, now applying Pythagoras theorem, we know the measure of all three sides. So that means we can very easily find out the trigonometric ratios for all the tri all trigonometric ratios for 60 degree angle. So let's just write write them here. So sine 60 degrees. So remember which angle is 60 degree it is this angle which is 60 degree so which is sin a right so if this is 60 degree so sin 60 degree will be bd by ab it will be bd by ab so which is what is bd so bd is this value so which is square root 3 by 2 times a and AB is A. So A and A will cancel out. So we will be left with square root 2, square root 3 by 2. So sine 60 degrees is this, square root 3 by 2. What about cos 60 degrees? Let's do cos 60 degrees. Cos 60 degrees will be this AD by AB. AD by AB and what is AD? AD is A by 2. A by 2 and AB is A. So this means this value will be A and A will cancel out. It will be 1 by 2. So we have sine 60 degree is square root 3 by 2 cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 this is the value 1 by 2 now tan 60 degrees tan 60 degrees similarly will be BC sorry BD by AD 
AD which will give us BD is square root 3 by 2 divided by A by 2. So you will be left with square root 3. So tan 60 degrees will be square root 3. So friends now cosec 60 degree will be 2 by root 3. Sec 60 degree will be 2 and cot 60 degree will be 1 by square root 3. So I know that we kind of have really got you know too many things going on over here. So let us just write the ratios one more time nicely and cleanly. So what we will have is so we actually had this side as square root 3 by 2 times a and this side was a by 2 and this side was a. So and this was our 60 degree angle and this was a 90 degrees right or same as so both of them are 90 degrees. So here sin 60 sin 60 degrees we saw was sin 60 was this over this which was square root 3 divided by 2. Cos 60 degrees was AD divided by AB which was 1 by 2. Tan 60 degree this angle was root 3 A divided by 2 divided by A by 2. So this value will be square root 3. Now cosec 60 degree is reciprocal of this. So it should be it should be 2 divided by square root 3. Similarly sec 60 degree is reciprocal of this. So this should be 2 and cot 60 degree is reciprocal of this. So cot 60 degree will be 1 by square root 3. Friends in the next episode we are going to learn about trigonometric ratios of 30 degree angle.